please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Kids, please stay standing for the Kids at Hope pledge. I am a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I will climb to reach those goals and dreams every day. Adults, please stand for the Treasure Hunters Pledge. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe all children are capable of success, no exceptions. Don't forget, tomorrow is the Fall Fest and Trunk or Treat from 5.30 to 8 p.m. See you there! On October 31st, we have Literacy Dress-Up Day. Dress up like your favorite book character and bring the book. Tomorrow's breakfast, we have cinnamon rolls or yogurt parfait. Today's lunch is orange chicken, cheesy garlic bread, and chicken parmesan. Make it a great day or not, little hands, the choice is yours. We hope you make it a great day. Hi, this is Miss Van Brimmer. So what's a literacy lantern? Good morning, Kaya. A literacy lantern is a pumpkin that we are decorating in the form of a book character or a book that we really enjoy. So I brought my literacy lantern here today. This is the pigeon from the Mo Williams book, Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. And it's one of my son's favorite stories to read. So we decided to make our literacy lantern um, the character in this story. So how can you make a literacy lantern? Well, the first step is you would need to go get a pumpkin from maybe the pumpkin patch or the grocery store. And then you would need to gather your materials. And you could use like paint or glitter or markers um, to decorate your pumpkin. Why would someone want to make a literacy lantern? At VBE, we have a tradition of doing literacy lanterns at Halloween time. And we have a big contest in our media center where the kids can display their literacy lanterns and we picked pick the winner to receive a $25 gift card to our book fair. So there's a great, not only is it fun, but there's also a great reward involved too. So I'd love to share this story with my friends today. It's called Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late and it's by Mo Williams. Oh good, it's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Thanks. Okay, let's see if the pigeon listens or he's maybe like my sons and he doesn't stay in his bed. First of all, I'm not even tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? Uh oh. No? <laughs> oh, he looks just like my literacy lantern right there. I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. Should be very educational. Oh, pigeon, you've got to go to bed. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? What? What? Hmm, I think he's getting sleepy. I'm not tired. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. Oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. a glass of water. Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow instead. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please.
please? My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Yawn. Ooh, that was a big one. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard the last of me. Ooh, he's looking pretty tired. Great work. Thanks. Good night. He's having a hot dog party in his dreams. So this is a book I like to share with my family, and I hope that little Indians, you guys will go home and share a book with your family and use your art skills to create a literacy lantern for our media center. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Thank you.